Hello YouTube, it's been forever since I have made a video, but since one of my new subscribers and I were discussing um, collections of exit signs and exit lights, I thought I'd show off a little bit of my collection here. This is not all of my collection. Um, I have a ton more of these, and they are put away in storage. But here is just a couple of what I'm going to be showing off to you today. I have an exit sign and an exit light, or an emergency exit light, power or failure light, that I'm going to be showing off to you today. The one you see here in this picture is a Lithonia X series exit sign. This is a very old exit sign. If you'll notice up here, the test and charge buttons are lined up in a column style configuration. The newer ones are lined up in a row style configuration. This particular Lithonia exit sign is circa 1980. So yes, it is pretty old. You don't see many of these in service anymore because they use big huge 40 watt incandescent light bulbs and LED light bulbs only use about 1.2 to maybe 1.4 watts depending on red or green. This is, and I will show you the model number, an XSW3REL exit light. Of course, made by Lithonia. Now, when I got this exit sign, it did not come with a battery. So, I took the battery out of an older um, Lithonia Signature Series exit sign, and the model number of that actually begins with F2E because it is a fluorescent exit sign. It is not able to be retrofitted with LED bulbs, so that one has been retired and put up into storage with some of my other exit signs. Now this one, since it does use the 40 watt LED, or not LED, incandescent bulbs, I have retrofitted it with LED bulbs. And these only use about 1.2 watts total. Um, I am going to demonstrate this for you by plugging it in right over here. Now, don't let this camera fool you. These LED bulbs are very, very bright. I just took this one out of my room. Um, I actually had to retire this one in my room because of the bottom down light down here. So much of that red LED light coming out um, kept people awake when I opened the door to go on a midnight fridge run or something like that. So I took it down and I replaced it with the exit sign that was in this box, a brand new Lithonia Signature Series with white housing, model number LESW1R12277ELNSD. The N stands for nickel cadmium, that is the battery backup. The SD stands for self-diagnostic. So what this exit sign will do will actually test itself every 30 days and every six months to keep up with fire codes that um, businesses have to keep up with, the NFPA 101 fire safety code. This one I have already installed. I might, uh, I might put a shot of that one in in post-production since I don't exactly have, um, have that right in front of me to show you. Now, the battery in this one does work, but like I said, it's out of one of the older signature series that was actually fluorescent and had the battery pack in the canopy. So I do not recommend putting the battery from one of those in one of these. That probably will not make you pass code for your fire inspection if you have one. However, I am going to hook this battery up to show you a little bit there we go, we'll just edit that part of me having trouble hooking this out. Now here is the inside of this sign where the bulbs go. As you can see, I had to use the adapters with the LED kit because these use the huge base T6 bulbs. These are huge, these are expensive, these generate a lot of heat, the T6 incandescent bulbs. So if you have these signs, 
retrofit them with the LEDs. It'll save you a lot of money. As for the emergency backup bulbs, these are also pretty big bulbs. They are bayonet base. One, when I received this sign, was taped in. So obviously the base on this one is broken because it never worked. I was never able to get this work uh, to work after I got this sign. So I'm going to hit the test button up here and I'll show you the very uneventful one bulb that works in this sign. Now you can see all the batteries going to this one bulb so it is very, very bright. I highly recommend Lithonia's products. They are amazing. Obviously this one is almost twice my age and it's still working. Well, not quite. <laughs> but um, it is old. It is still working. Now I want to take you through and show you some other exit signs and exit lights. This is the SureLight LM1 emergency lighting unit. As you can see, I do not have this plugged in right now. Moving right on, a Lithonia 6 ELM2P emergency light from the last revision of the Quantum series. As I have said a million times in this video, and I am probably boring you to death with it, these are very bright. These put out tons of light. I actually have two of these in this garage. The other one is down here, but we might run a test on these in just a couple minutes. Right next to this one is an Emergilite X10 series. This one is very old as well. As you'll notice, the arrow punch out is actually an arrow. On the newer ones, the arrow punch outs are chevron arrows. This one is actually a block arrow, so that's how old it is. This is a Lithonia um, Quantum ELM exit light with battery backup, nickel cadmium battery backup. This is a thermoplastic um, exit unit. It is from the last revision of the Quantum series. Obviously black housing you can see in the um, video here and it works quite well out here in this environment. As you can see, we've lost, I turned off the light back here and we've lost complete power, but everything is still illuminated very, very brightly. These six ELM2P emergency lights are a lot brighter than you think they are. They're a lot brighter than this video will give them justice. Um, the emergency light um, has three very small um, six volt lights backing them up on the battery. The newer ones have two, so again a testament to the age of this sign. This one's pretty old. Obviously the six volt um, incandescent lights and the Lithonia 6 elm 2 p emergency lights. And the quantum down here is obviously backed up by the LED um, LED cells on the board of this exit sign. There are no external bulbs. It's just backed up by its normal LEDs. And back here, the Lithonia X series Titan exit light that I showed you earlier running on its very, very sad one bulb.